my interest in the nobles first started when I noticed several times that I'd find these groups of wandering nobles who were digging and it looked like they were just desperately trying to find something. These little excavation groups were in every single biome, all over the map, even all the way up in the consecrated snow fields. So naturally I wanted to know what they were looking for. So at one of these dig sites, I had the idea that I could use the Rock Blaster Sorcery, which is a mining spell, to see if it would reveal anything below. And it didn't, unfortunately. I was really disappointed because I thought that would have been such a cool moment. But alas, it didn't answer the question of what they're digging for. So of course, I decided to dedicate an entire video to it, to look at who are the wandering nobles, what it is they're looking for, and why do you find their dead bodies all over the map? I know at least one other person out there is thinking, yes, these are the questions that I'm actually interested in. So this topic is for you. The Wandering Noble Ashes says that they are the spirits of nobles who, after death, now wander the lands between. Surely they were in search of something once, but whatever it was has long been forgotten. The description for their cloak says that it's a high quality garb adorned with fine golden embroidery. It's travel attire worn by nobles in the capital. Abandoning their birthplace after the shattering, these undead wanderers are the pitiful product of unending life. So they're basically zombies. They're very frail and almost brainless in their composure and the way that they stumble along. And they've been wandering and lost for so long far beyond what their natural life expectancy should be, that they don't even know what it is they're looking for anymore. And when you kill them, they drop items like roa fruit, ruin fragments, earthly flowers. These are things that you find scattered all over the lands between, and they don't really have any significant value. They're just confused and aimless, and are traveling around gathering things without any reason as to why. You can find their corpses all over the map, in nearly every single area, even where you wouldn't expect to find them, like in Shifra River or at the steps of Mogwin's Palace. And usually they're just a placeholder for an item of interest to loot their corpse, to show you, okay, go out on that ledge, there's something of value there. And I think it can be tempting to say that everything in this game means something and it's there for a reason, but I think that the Wandering Nobles are really just a well thought out and clever way to place these lootable corpses as a game mechanic, but at the same time, by giving them a backstory in which they're just doomed to wander eternally, it's a great way to explain why you find them everywhere. Instead of being able to die like they should after the shattering occurred, they're stuck searching for something, and in their confusion of having done it for so long, of what they're looking for, they will travel everywhere across the lands between searching for it, not even knowing what it is that they're searching for. I did find it interesting that there were two different nobles' ashes, and the second one gives a bit more of their background. So the noble sorcerer ashes says that it's a spirit of a nobleman who once asked to be given a place at Rai Lucaria to learn glintstone sorceries. His talents were insufficient to be worthy of donning the stone crown, however, and he's only capable of using the most rudimentary sorcery. So this at least tells us that there is some cognizance in them. Even in this undead form, they have some aspirations. Some of them wanted to become sorcerers. Huge groups of wandering nobles can be seen trailing the processional marches that are led by the trolls. And I wonder if they're just following them because it's this hive mind of having latched onto something, thinking, okay, they know where they're going, so we should follow them, kind of thing. You can also find a group of nobles in Windmill Village in what is essentially a pasture for grazing animals, and there are a couple of misbegotten who are butchering them for the cultists at Dominula Village. It's just another example of how detailed the designers were in creating these little stories within the story and giving some character and life to these NPCs that we otherwise don't really ever think about. But all of this still doesn't answer the question of what they're looking for. And so to close, I'm offering my own theory. Because they're undead, long beyond when they should have died and returned to the earth by now, 
What they're searching for is death. They just don't know that. They know that they have to find something and they're traveling all over trying to look for it. But that something is their return to the Erd tree. In the catacombs all over the land, you can see the roots of the Erd tree absorbing the dead, taking them back into it to repeat this cycle of life, blessings, and death. And because they're unable to die and return to that, they're digging because that's where the roots of the Erd tree are underneath the ground, and they desperately just want that death that they've been robbed of. It's just a theory, but to me it makes sense because they are looking for something. They're kind of doomed to travel and scour the earth looking for something that just doesn't exist. It's not attainable to them. And so that's this permanent cycle of looking but never being able to find it. And it makes their story even more sad, which is on par for every single aspect of Elden Ring. But yeah, that's just, that's just my thoughts on the subject. And I hope you liked the video. And if you have any of your own theories or ideas on this, I'd love to hear them. Let me know. And at least now we can kind of have more appreciation for our little wandering zombies. Maybe give them a bit of a break when we see them digging. Just, just let them dig in peace. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you